and they adjust it after 2016, but it's still going to be the release, release direction. So, in order to hook things together, you need to do your tupacha in a certain technique. So I've asked Tim and Jeff to share their, their value of knowledge with you. And Josh. And Josh. Where is he? Are they over there? Uh, because they have their athletes already in that direction. And to me, the tupacha skill is in the ideal testing. It's parallel with as soon as you finish level six. Okay, um, first thing, we look at to catch it on the bars. Women have been doing to catch it on bars since about 1980, when the bars used to be about this close together, and the giants had to pike massively down. Yeah. So when they first did, they just kind of barely scraped over the bar. And it's kind of stayed like that for about 20 years. But what Peggy's talking about now, it has to change. The way people used to do to catch it on the bars, it has to change, because you won't be able to do the connections and the skills you need to do out of it. And in the, the next level of gymnastics that's coming in the future, which is what you guys have got to do. Yeah, you can't do today's gymnastics, you're going to do gymnastics for 10 years in the future. Right? And so if you wanted to catch it there, we're talking about to catch it that you can get full extension on and be able to swing out of. You need some height and you need rotation. And with all skills on bars, if you want some good technique and good power and height, it starts from a swing. Right? So that's what Kate's going to demonstrate here. The place to start, up on the straps bar, learning to get your swing right. So it's a normal swing, normal tap swing, but it happens a little earlier. One of the key things to me is the timing of the tap. Okay, it's good. And here it said, you swing with a straight body, just like a normal tap. You think of a normal giant or for a flyaway, you swing down towards the bottom, about 45 degrees, you start the tap. It's catch up, it's exactly the same, but you do it around about horizontal. Okay, otherwise exactly the same. The swing to the bottom, exactly the same. You kick up as strong as you possibly can, and then the key part is sort of catching that, pushing out into your arch at the top. You've got to do that to get some counter rotation. You keep the kick to give you the height to get you up and over the bar, and then you open up and push forward with your shoulders to give you a rotation forwards. Because it's actually like doing a front salt over the bar. Right? You're finishing on your back here, you're finishing your swing, you release, you turn around, you end up in a stunt. It's like half a front salt there. And it's very hard to get front rotation when you've got all this backward rotation. Okay? So we want to get that finished position really strong. To me, that's critical too. The position you're in when you release the bar. If you don't get that full extension through the body, so you're not going to rotate enough and you're going to go too far backwards. You're not going to catch the bar. So like what Kate is doing there, you want to stop just before handstand. If you're doing that arch and you're still going over the bar, you haven't done enough push forward. Right? Can you show one more time, Kate? And we're arch at the top, so it's going to be a tight position, not a, not a bridge. You're already flopping an arc. It's a tight, long position. Good, Kate. Strong, you can see it's really dynamic. Stop at the top. That's it. The bigger, the more powerful that is, the bigger you to catch it. But then you turn around and go forwards. Right? So you're traveling backwards over the bar, but as you're traveling backwards, you're rotating forwards like a console. So this drill helps to give the girls the idea of that feeling. So we've seen the swing where Kate gets to. Now she's going to roll up kind of that position, and then she's going to do the next part of what would happen in the release. So once she releases from that arch position, she's going to snap into a straddle and swing through. All right? So imagine where her hands are before, that's where the bar is. Okay. Roll back. Bridge and come through. Do the bridge and stop first. Okay. So the first step, she does like a back roll and then push into the bridge, a similar position to what she just did up on the bar. So she rolls through and stop like that. And then you saw she just did before. Imagine she lets go of the bar, snaps through, so she come through full catch the imaginary bar. Okay? Do it all again. You can see the whole thing. Just roll through the straight like before. Yeah? On your stomach. So imagine that's exactly what she's going to, that's what it's going to feel like when she goes over the bar. So you put the two things together, and when you get it over the bar, we'll see the other bars. Tap to stand on the bar. Um, we want the gymnast looking at the bar, um, so we're going to lean in. Um, we can also be taught with arms out to the side. Um, but like for the women's doing pikes, once they have the best, she reaches forward, the shoulders rotate.
12 to 24 months of preparation in three minutes. Okay, so don't get the wrong impression that you do that, the next day we do this, the next day we do this, right? This is a, a very difficult skill, quite a dangerous skill, a fairly complex skill, if you don't do it right. Okay? If you do it right, it's all fine. Um, and as Peggy said, it's a really important skill we should all be working on, but don't, I'd say, this is a critical one not to rush. Right? Take your time, start it early. Right? If the skill's more difficult, rather than sort of thinking, oh, it's too hard, leave it. No, start it early, just don't expect to compete it the next year or compete it when you're nine. You know? Take your time, get it right, compete it when it's ready. Um, the other thing is, with the flyaway, there is a, because I said the tap and everything, the first part of the swing is actually very similar to a flyaway. And this, this idea of the counter rotation, it gets very confusing with a lot of things with the flyaway. So don't even think about this skill until you have mastered the flyaway. And I mean mastered. 100% control and confidence on a good layer flyaway, high layer flyaway, a little bar, but if you go into double saltos and whatever else, then you start pre you you're starting to do this magic. If you are working both the skills at the same time, the things will get confused and disaster will happen. Right? Because a flyaway rotates backwards, travels forward to catch it, rotates backwards, travels backwards, complete opposite. They start the same, they end opposite. You do it together, you're going to end up on the bar, upside down, Keep that in mind. It's a slow, methodical process. Understand the process. And take your time, get it right. Do it right the first time, have it forever. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.